Hello, I'm Eric. And I'm Tiffany. We are Terrific Pace, and we are with... Just Got Played. And today we're going to be unboxing Last Night on Earth, the zombie game, 10-year anniversary. So stick around. Okay, this is Last Night on Earth, a zombie game. Uh, this is the 10-year anniversary edition. This is a game by Jason C. Hill and published by Flying Frog Productions. Flying Frog! Yes, absolutely. Tiffany's favorite production house. This is their logo here. Yeah, Flying Frog. Oh. And as you can see, the specifics. It's for two to six players, ages 14 and up. And it's going to take you 60 to 90 minutes to play. Excellent. This, uh, to be fair, I've played this uh, a few times with her, but Tiffany played the base game of this many times. <laughs> yes, and in just, my early gaming days. In her early gaming days, and could not pass off the opportunity to get the fancy anniversary edition. Uh, apparently, they've sealed up very well. Okay, here we go. As you can see, it is a giant box of fun here. All right. This is like the size of Axis and Allies back in the day. All right, what do we have? Ooh, a catalog. 2017. Oh, nice. Uh, the roll book here, it's pretty fancy. I'm sure you can probably see that, but some of it is like gloss, like super gloss. Like it's all gloss, but then somehow some of it's like super gloss. Super gloss. Uh, it's kind of a photo paper almost. Uh, very fancy with the artwork. Oh, a lot of words. A lot of words going on. Expansion rule books. Oh, okay. So we have 24 pages of rules and then the expansion rule books, all of which are contained within the anniversary edition. That's convenient. That is convenient. Okay. So all together, that was about 60 seven pages if you want to count all the friends and family Funny photos and, and stuff. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Oh, we've got some fancy punches. Uh, the, the cardboard's fairly standard cardboard, but it's like very glossy. It's not shame. easy to punch. Not easy to punch. Interesting. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yes. you're right. It's a little sticky. Probably because of the glossy. Seems to punch clean. It's just yeah. not... I haven't had any tears yet. Simple. It doesn't punch itself. Indeed, right. You're not going to open the box and just find all this all in there. Oh, okay. But it works. And, you know, nice shiny finish. Yeah, it's definitely pretty. Okay, we have some kind of uh, one of the maps. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's the central map or whatnot, because it looks like... The rest of the maps are all this size, or shape, rather. Right. So, so like I said, on the this one, okay. and then we have, as Tiff says, the ones that go on the outside. What are these here? Games and oh, different scenarios that you play. Again, same kind of cardboard. Like, it's it's fairly thick, thick enough, and it's got a bit of that gloss on it. Uh, those are nice. So, different scenarios. Looks like more. Nope. These look like hero characters. So these are the characters. We have the Father Joseph, the Becky, the Sally, and the Billy. Oh, and some more hiding out down here. It's kind of hard to get out of that well. Mm. Yep, now we have a ton of them. Deputy Mr. Hyde, Jeb, Jake Cartwright, Sheriff Anderson. All right, so then we also have... Oh, I see. Uh, game scenarios and more characters. So Jenny, Johnny, Doc Brody, Doc. and then two other scenarios. Kind of got mixed in with everything. Hero, hero, hero. Hero, hero. Scenario, scenario. Okay. Okay, we got all kinds of cards going on. That's a pretty thick. Deck. It says hero deck, but it might not be that the whole way through it. I don't know. We're going to find out. This says zombie deck. Again, might not be that the whole way through it. Let's find out. Again, same 
glossy material here. Other than that, fairly standard cardstock. The cards know. stick together. For they sure. do stick together a little bit. Yeah, kind of need to go through and make Separate. sure every each one of them is separated. I don't know if you can even probably hear them like unsticking as I go through this and the squeaking. It sounds like I'm playing basketball. Yeah. It's like the first time you undo a, a slinky. Like it's all stuck oh, together. Right. He's got to loosen it up. That's all. But as you can see, that was an entire deck of zombie deck cards. So I'm, I'm sure what Tiff's doing over there is an entire deck of hero cards. Yeah. There's quite a bunch of them there. It's a pretty thick deck. All right. We also have whatever this is and whatever these are. Let's see. Zombie turn summary, hero turn summary, so it looks like a player aid. And we got hero upgrades. Same, uh, slightly sticking together, very glossy. Upgrades look like things like killing blows, distractions, combat prowess, dead eye shot, abilities, and whatnot. Hero upgrades, yeah, that makes sense. I think I actually went through it, but the zombie deck is going to have Shambles, Undead Hate the Living, just a bunch of different cards for the gameplay. Play this card to let a zombie roll two extra fight dice, a play immediately, and a whole lot of text. Different things going on. Uh, they each have pretty, pretty nice artwork on them as far as it goes. They're kind of... Uh, like photo art when it's not art art it's more like photos yeah which is that's their style yes what you got so this is the hero deck i think i finally unstuck it all um lots of you know like the um items and abilities play immediately cards heroes rage dynamite cards uh fire extinguisher lighter so just more more cards. One other little one here. Let's see if you want to work on that one. Or a reference. So in case you couldn't tell up to this point, this is a fairly standard zombie fighter game. Like survive to the end, kill the zombies. There's a bunch of different scenarios, obviously, but that's the general gist of what's going on here. Uh, we got a big bag of hmm, some kind of markers or something. I'm not really sure what they are, but they're pretty cool. It's like a soft plastic. Can you see it bending there? And then some symbols or stars, whatever those are for. If anybody would remember, I'm sure it would be Tiffany. But then again, these are fairly upgraded components yeah. from whatever the base game had, I'm sure, yes. for the... 10th anniversary edition. What even are those? They look like flowers? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, these are probably the aliens. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Or the zombie pods or whatever. like that. Something like that, right? Yeah. Then again, the rest of these are all stars. And there's a couple of rings. I guess those would go on the scenarios or whatever to track different things. Yeah, like that one. You put a ring. Yeah, the timer. Right. Yep. Like that and whatnot. Cool. All right. Get all this out of our way and keep going. Okay. We also have a fancy truck and some what looks like character minis. I love it. The truck is awesome. That's excellent. You want to play with the truck? Yes. There you go. And then again, what looks like all the different character minis. Here. They're fine. Not the best minis I've ever seen, but they're, they're fine. It's nice to have minis. And then we have... This looks like another set of some kind of counters and stuff. And this one... 
Zombies and aliens, I would guess. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Or just all zombies. I don't know. Aliens. I don't know. Zombies, yeah. The green zombies and brown zombies. I'm sure one, there's a point to some of them being green and some of them being brown. Harder or easier to be or whatever. Cool. And then, like I said, these red counters or something. These are very similar to the to the, this. They're not translucent like these, but it's kind of similar. So it looks like can see what that says. Wounds. All little the little round ones are wounds. And there's little X's to mark off parts of the board, I bet. Things like that. A little gas can. Those are a little gas can. Cool. Pretty nice components as far as it goes. I would hope so with it being the 10, 10 yeah. year anniversary. Anniversary. Uh, yes. And then yeah, we got some more matte pieces here. So like she said, those are single sided there, but depending upon which one of the scenarios you were playing, either that one or starting in a building or whatever, then these would go around the outside. Like so, to fill out your map that you're playing. I'm out of hands, I can't really put the other two up there. Well, we're running out of screen space anyway. I do like the bear rug though, that's a nice touch. Classy. So that could be Again, depending on the scenario and whatever. There, I'm throwing things in the way over there. But that's a good good idea of a board that you would be playing on. And underneath, a CD. The soundtrack we, to the game. Do we even have a CD player? I don't think we have a CD player. I guess we could run it through a computer to make some kind of, you know, sound file to play on our actual devices. Go. But that's so the, the original game came with uh, the same CD. Uh, with the what? Same with CD? With the same CD, yeah. So it's the same CD. Well, okay. it's 10th anniversary, though. Well, okay. I can't say that it's the same necessarily, but there was a CD in the original. Excellent. It's got eight, 19 tracks on it. The soundtrack is by Mary Beth Magalanes. Magalanes? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then last but not least, this we have, looks like we have a bag of red and we'll gray. call them gray dice. Those look incredibly six standard six-sided dice, yes. And just in case, you see what's under here? Nothing. Nah. Just a box. Okay. Well, that was a whole lot of different stuff going on. Scenarios and characters and decks of cards and a, a CD and a whole bunch of map pieces and zombies and wound markers and a guess. Uh, a gas can and a truck and some character meeples and some dice and some of whatever right, these right. pods I like are. They get the idea. They get the idea. I don't know, because there's still more stuff over here. Than know, all these we punched we really, out. And there's, all right, what's, what's this? Here. It's a truck. It's a tractor. Oh, a tractor. Of course. It looks like it's a broke down tractor. Okay. But anyway, yeah, as you can see, there's quite a lot going on in this box. If you like a zombie kind of game, this is going to be right up your alley and uh, as you can see the components are very nice we look forward to playing uh, i'm eric i'm tiffany thanks again for watching with us and uh, happy gaming <laughs>